Hello everyone, it is Thursday, September 8th, and this is probably the start of this new year of vlogging or school year. Like Now, like I said on the Facebook page, we are not going to be doing like a scheduled thing where we each have to post on a certain day. This year, since everyone's going to be kind of busy, we're just going to have a four video requirement for each month, three for this month since it's already the second week. And if you don't make four videos or three in this case, then you will be punished. And I also... I also have to do a punishment, um, and which Claire suggested, which is to dress up as Mother Goose and read the first chapter of Harry Potter in a public setting, which I will do once I find old lady clothing. But today I am going to talk to you about a different topic. Every so often I'll get an idea that just seems like a really, really great idea for a novel, and I've come up with a lot of them throughout the year, so I'm just going to tell you about each one of them since I find them kind of interesting. As long as you give me partial credit for the idea, you can write the novel if you want to, since I'm probably never going to get around to it. Now, the first time I ever tried writing a novel was back when I was in fourth grade, and I was a really weird fourth grader who kind of enjoyed reading stories about death. I wasn't emo or anything, I was just really weird. So I wrote a story about a guy who tries to commit suicide by jumping off a building. But he, at the last moment, he sort of just, just decides not to, but he falls off the building anyway, and he has some sort of weird afterlife thing, and his son is dying, and it's just a really, really weird story. The second one that I can remember was in sixth grade, I think I tried writing a novel about a kid, I don't remember what his name was, but he lived in an orphanage and then he found out that he had some sort of special magical power or something, and he went to this, his cousin's house that he didn't know he had, and I, I don't really remember the full story, but I think his parents belonged to some sort of secret society, I don't know. It was very complicated, and I thought it was really good at the time. Um, I don't, I never finished it, I don't even know where it is, but it's, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty good for a sixth grader. Um, last year, I started writing a novel that was basically just like an ER episode, but extended into a longer novel type thing. I mean, I only wrote the first couple of chapters, but it was about a guy who was a doctor, was training to be a doctor, and he runs, like, he, his car breaks down or gets hit by a truck. His car gets hit by a truck right after he jumped out of it, and... Then he finds this kid who's dying on the road. And my third, which is my favorite right now because I'm probably going to do it for NaNoWriMo, is very complicated. Um, so the, it's two characters who become one. So the first one is a girl, it's just a regular girl named, I don't know, Alyssa or something. And she's just sort of there. She's like, oh, my life is normal, blah, blah, blah. And then, um, she, but she start, we gradually realize that she gets exactly 12 hours of sleep every night. Exactly. And then at one point she wakes up in the middle of the night, this lady comes and like, your life is a lie. And then she's all like, oh my god. And then there's this other character, Soldier 5 or 6 or whatever, who they don't, she doesn't know, she doesn't know anything about herself, but she also only gets 12 hours of sleep. And you gradually come to learn that the same person, just one of them is when they, they're awake and one of them is when they're asleep. It was going to be really intense. I don't know where that is either, but if I do find that, a little editing, and I might be able to finish that. So don't don't steal that idea, because that was that was a good one. Okay, I am out of time, but one more thing. At the end of each of my videos, I'm going to promote a video that I thought was really cool or really weird or just I just really liked it for some reason. Um, and so here's the first one of those.